What's up, kings and queens of the world? This is King from King's Fragrances and Lifestyle, and we're back with another video. And on this video, as you can see, Spring Kings. That's right. I got my top 10 Spring Kings. So let's get it. Let's get into this video. My first and number 10 would be Lacoste Style in Play. Now, I've been wearing this fragrance for a while. Like, I wore this fragrance, man. This fragrance, it's going to give you a lot of compliments because i mean that's what it's you know it's supposed to do like it's it's very fresh um it's very uh woodsy um to me it's like a aromatic almost a little bit but uh i remember um i was at a hospital and i wore this this was some years ago and um like they came out on the, the third floor and they was walking around trying to see who was smelling good and it was this so this is my number 10. You see it? Look at that alligator, man. That's what costs. You know what I'm saying? You know what that means. Check it out. Now we're going to get to the number nine. Number nine, Spring King of 2021, in my opinion, is none other than Burberry Touch. Now, this Burberry Touch is a fragrance that um, Big Beard B and uh, I think um, Bow, uh, Bowtie Guy actually uh, hyped up or talked about. So... I wanted to go try it, and I tried it, and I like it, man. This this rocks, and uh, you know I'm not gonna get into the note breakdown. It smell like it might have some juniper berry in it, but it's very uh fresh. Uh, you know I want to say a little bit aquatic, but this is definitely something for the springtime. It's light, it's not heavy. You know it can get you compliments, and uh you know during that springtime, it's not too cold, it's not too hot. You know people want to show off their body. You you know what I'm saying you've been in the gym working out, getting right. Now you wanna you know check this out, but this is a this is a very great fragrance, man. So, at the number nine spot, Burberry Touch. Don't don't touch my Burberry. Next is Versace, Versace man or Versace Fresh, whatever. But I just say Versace man, and this is the number eight spot on my list. So, um, I've been wearing this fragrance for about how long? I've been wearing it. I want to say probably. A little bit after high school, and this is another fragrance that I got a lot of compliments off of this, man. If I if I was to tell you guys the stories behind me, wipe this off, behind some of the compliments that I've gotten, and I, I know it, you know, it helps that I look good, so you know, I'm gonna get those type of compliments too. But uh like this is this is the bomb, man. I can't even remember the notes in here. What can I smell? But most of these, because it's springtime, they're gonna be floral. Mm, you know, uh, aromatic fougere because it is springtime. You're gonna smell some um, citrus in here, you know, probably some grape grapefruit, some lemons, and things of that nature. But at the number seven spot, no, at my bad, this is number eight spot. Versace man, try that out, and you see, I'm used a lot. Of, I'm gonna get a bigger bottle too, by the way. At the number seven spot, another Versace. Versace Dylan Blue. Now this right here is just, oh my God, it's just, it's just greatness. I love the bottle design. Um, it's it's uh, it's Versace Dylan Blue, man. I mean, it's gonna give you compliments, and uh, you're gonna be able to pull what you need to pull with this. This is very much a crowd pleaser. Like, um, I was downtown in Fulton County in Atlanta, Georgia, that's where I stay. But right now I'm in Decatur, so but. Um, yeah, downtown in Fulton County, uh, I was at the uh, courthouse, I think, and I was walking through, and a lady, you know, gave me a compliment, but this is definitely, I get a compliment off of this a lot. I have two bottles. That's how good it is, and look at the bottle. Look at that Medusa head. Medusa, Versace, Versace. Now, at the sixth spot, Tedder Hermes by Hermes. Now, this fragrance right here is the EDT version. Um, It's vetiver base. That's what I liked about it. Um, I do plan on getting the parfum, but this will make the list for, like I say, the number six spot on my Spring Kings of 2021. Tell that Hermes. Now, this fragrance is, mm, I don't know if a lot of people know about this fragrance, but it is a niche fragrance. It's very expensive, and um, but it's, it's good, and it's a rose-based fragrance, which, you know, a lot of flowers are about to get ready to spring up during the springtime anyway, or blossom up as they say. So none other than Barreto's 
Rose of No Man's Land. Check that out. This is a nice rose fragrance, man. And oh my God, like it's it's mm, it's a little feminine because it has floral notes in it. Um, but it is an EDP. Also keep that in mind. It is a niche, and it is different. A lot of people are not gonna have this um, particular fragrance because people try to stick to the norm or whatever. But this is like very very different, man. This is gonna get you some some looks, and they might wanna lick on you. You know what I'm saying for the spring. For the springtime, man, like, uh, I like this fragrance. And I didn't like it at first because the rose was kind of harsh. But once it sold on my skin, it just was like a banger, man. I've already, I bought this about three weeks ago, and I'm still getting compliments off of it. I wore this. And, see, I get compliments in places that, you know, Chick-fil-A, man. Like, I really get compliments. And then when, I think with a fragrance, Everybody can get a compliment. It just depends on, you know what I'm saying, what's going on. Number four spot, you already know, the king, Creed Aventus. What more can I say besides the best pineapple on the market? And at the number three spot is none other than what that? Rosa Dove Elysium. Elysium, man. Um, you know, this is a powerhouse. This is also a niche fragrance, and that's why it's on the list for the number third favorite fragrance for spring, Spring King for 2021, Elysium. Go check that out. Go holler at some people at Neiman Marcus and get yourself one of these. And at the number two spot is Mancera. Mancera Cidrop Boise, or they say Cidrop Boise. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I am I goofy sometimes, but I don't know, like, all I know is this is some good juice. Bergamot, juniper berries, some woods, um, Dang, I'm slipping on my on my notes, man. I've been slipping lately. Uh, I don't know what's going on, but mm, gotta love it. Gotta love it. And this is also one of the ones that knocked out Creed Aventus. But at the number two spot for spring, Kings of 2021, Mancera Sidrop Boise. And behold, be hail at the number one spot for the 2021 Spring King is none other than Nishane Hasivat. Nishane Hasiba, we gonna say it again. Hasiba, this is my number one spring fragrance for this year in 2021. It is the king. It has dethroned everything in its way. It is the highest concentration that you can possibly get in a fragrance. And this is absolute gorgeous. This is elegant. This is what they consider a masterpiece. And this right here will get you more than compliments, but this will get you laid. So, <laughs> I'm just playing, but it will get you late. So, um, that was my list. We're going to stay tuned for the next video. Other than that, remember, always, energy is everything. Keep your energy high and your vibration high. Stay positive. Love, live, life.